Hey guys, Abs here. In this short video, I'm going to be talking to you about a brand new site that I came across yesterday. It's totally free to use at the moment and it's called and, and it's called Buzz Sumo. The actual site provides social insights, it provides details about content, which content is getting shared the most, who are the most and the top influencers within a certain niche or topics. Um, and I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can use it because it is a fairly cool site. Um, so here's the actual site. It provides two actual areas. It provides you insights um, in relation to content and inside in relation to the actual influencers as well. Um, when it comes to the actual content, um, then you can actually discover what people are sharing the most within your niche. Um, you can analyze what topics and headlines and what contents actually work and what formats actually work. Um, you can find interesting, interesting content to curate. Um, you can discover guest post opportunities and interviewing opportunities as well. Um, so I'm going to give you a few examples now. Um, so you've got a few filter types down here. It actually analyzes articles, infographics, um, videos, guest posts, giveaways and interviews as well. And you can actually filter it by um, 24 hours a week, um, a month and past six months as well. Um, now, one thing that I want to make you aware of, guys, that this is still in beta um, and it's totally free to work with whilst, in, whilst it's in beta. Um, so there still might be some bugs in here. Um, but I'm going to be showing you exactly how cool it is and, and what kind of details we can get. Um, so let's say, for example, um, our, our niche is about Bruno Mars. Let's say our keyword is Bruno Mars. Okay, I'm gonna type in Bruno Mars here. And what I'll do, I'll do the past 24 hours. Um, I'll click search. Um, and as you can see, what it does, it lists the actual title of the actual post um, that was shared. And then it lists the actual URL of the post that was shared. It tells you how many Google Plus shares it's had, how many likes it's had, how many LinkedIn shares it's had, Twitter shares, and in total how many shares it's had um, combining all of the four together um, so it's fairly cool because you can go up and down here and what you can do you can actually find out um, exactly what kind of titles are being shared and what are being um, um, what are being shared on social sites and what are being liked um, you can actually see you can go you can click on the url you can go ahead and actually have a look at the website url as well if you can leave a comment on here for example if you're looking to get a backlink or maybe even post a guest um, post on here if they do provide guest post opportunities as well and what you can do you can actually filter them by by the actual date as well so as you can see at the moment um the top ones are bruno mars tackles super bowl halftime show um so obviously he was singing at the super bowl um you can do the past six months and it's about it's actually it's, it's about his actual album um the official music video um and the youtube video so as you can see from here the mu the youtube videos if we didn't want to see the videos we can actually disable videos in there filter the search again um, give it a few moments and as you can see it's actually removed them videos um, and if you actually wanted to search and filter by whoever's got the most likes you can actually do that here click on it and it'll actually search it by it it will list it by whoever's got the most likes or whoever's got the total shares you can you can check them there you've actually got a drop down here as well that you can do it by um, but the cool thing about this guys is you can actually come on here um, you can do niche research on here as well you can find out about content um, find out exactly what's working for someone um, and try and you know use it to actually construct and 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 do your own articles as well um, so for example if we have a look at SEO for example we might be in the SEO niche we can keep the videos on as well we can do the past six months we can do the past week um, oops I need to filter the results here that's already been filtered um, and we can actually get good title ideas and we can find out good areas for actual um, website URLs as well but even more cool um, well what I certainly find even more cool is I can actually enter a URL in here as well so I could actually enter a domain so for example moz.com and I can click on search and from within moz.com, within the last six months, I can actually see what kind of content has been shared the most. Um, so from here, I can see Google algorithm change history, the web developers SEO's cheat sheet 2.0, Google plus one's amazing correlation with higher search engine rankings. And I can actually see what kind of posts um, are being socially shared um, the most um, from moz.com or from whatever URL I put in here, uh, which is absolutely fantastic because it gives you some real cool insights um, on exactly what what your competitors are up to um, and what's happening within your niche if you within your niche if you decide to use a keyword. Um, so I'm going to head over to the influence tab now. Um, the actual influence tab is fantastic as well. 
Um, what that allows you to do, it allows you to discover the most relevant influencers uh, for any topic. Um, it allows you to find influence that have shared an article um, and you can also sort results by page rank and page authority as well. So let me give you an example here. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter a keyword. So I'm going to enter something like, for example, weight loss. OK, and I'm going to click on search. Um, obviously, on this one, you don't have actual filters um, to do date search um, but you do have influencers what you can filter by from bloggers influencers companies journalists and regular people as well um, you've got advanced options as well such as search multiple words or search for a username um, and it actually shows you how you can do that from here um, so I'm going to give you an example so as you can see we've done um, weight loss we've done a search for weight loss Let's, let me just close that and what this allows me to do now is actually see the actual Twitter username here. So I can actually cl click on this, go over to a Twitter username. If I wanted to follow them, I could follow them. Um, but from within here, it actually shows me as well um, what the page. OK, I'll talk about the page authority and page rank in a moment. But it actually shows me how many follows this guy's Twitter account's got, what their retweet and what their reply ratio is as well. I'm not too worried about that, but obviously I think. Um, you know, if you've got a more reply ratio, you're more active on there as well. Um, and if you've got a retweet ratio, then you've got more followers that are retweeting your actual status updates, which is fantastic. Um, but by followers, if you wanted to sort them by followers, you can actually click on there. And as you can see, this this person here, um, Health Magazine, is actually for a website. Um, they've got millions, of, well, they've got 190, well, they've got 1,932,427 followers, which is absolutely fantastic. And they're fairly um, popular on um, Twitter as well. OK, but what I want to talk to you about here is exactly what other details they give us here as well. So from here, you can actually see what Twitter account is linked to what website. So from the website, um, you've got some details on here, what the authority of the website is, what the page rank of the website is as well. So if we wanted to sort by page authority, um, it's this guy here, Barry Stewart Gilbert, um, and I like eBay hobbies. He's got some details on there. You can click on there and you can actually go over to his website. OK, this is his website, I believe. OK, and you can do exactly the same for any other Twitter influence that you find down here. So what you might do is you might actually go over to, um, OK, let's see. Let's say, for example, SEO, because we're all familiar with the SEO niche. Um, I'm not going to sort by page rank. Um, I'm going to do, say, for example, I'm looking for Twitter followers or I want to penetrate, uh, you know, Twitter communities. Um, I can do I can do this based on number of followers. And from here, I can see Biz Stone. He's actually the co-founder of Twitter. Um, and, it, you know, he'd be a good dude to actually, or not really targeted for SEO, to be honest. Um, but anyway, this is exactly how you can tap into um, influencers within your industry, within your niche, um, and be friends with them and, and, you know, really start to connect with them. You can contact them, maybe find them for interviews um, and really start using this um, to your advantage while it's still in beta. Um, now, there are some notes on here um, about beta. Let me see if I can go over to here. I think it was on here. Yep, here it is. Um, what this says here is um, the end of beta. Um, it says we plan on always keeping basic access to Buzz Sumo free, even when the beta phase is over. The number of daily searches will be limited, though, and some existing and new pro features will be just available to paying subscribers. So at the moment, everything's available to you because it's still in beta. Um, but when it does change from beta to paid, then you will still have access to limited features to actually do limited searches, which is which is perfectly cool because it is a fairly cool system and it does give you good insights as well. Now, when you actually come over to the website, guys, buzzsumo.com, you'll be able to do a limited amount of searches. I think there's about seven to eight searches that you can perform before it asks you to sign up. Um, and then um, you, um, then you will need to sign up. Um, again, guys, I'm not affiliated with this site whatsoever. Um, it's something that I came across that I thought was fairly cool. Um, and it gives you some fairly cool insights. You can find some good content on here. You can find solid influencers um, and you get some solid opportunities out of this if you know exactly how to use it. And I'm sure many will find it very useful. And I wanted to share it with you. Um, so enjoy while, while it's still free, guys, um, and make the most out of it. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy working with... Um, Buzz Sumo.